Okay, let's, let's begin. I'd like to acknowledge the presence of Lady Patricia. Give her a hand, please. <laughs> Chairperson of the Conrad Hunt Foundation Committee, Dr. Donna Hancox. <laughs> Committee member, Mr. Ellsworth Young. Mr. Vernay, nice. give him a welcome. He's a former president of the Conrad Hunt Sports Club. I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of our parliamentary representative, Dr. Springer. Dr. Springer, could you join us? Other presidents, past of Conrad Hunt Sports Club. And Mr. Wendell Coppin, could you join us of the Barbados Cricket Association? <laughs> Coach of the BCA Select 11, Mr. Audrey Eswick. Give Mr. Eswick a hand, please. <laughs> Another former president and current treasurer of the Comrade Sports Club, Mr. Jeffrey Chandler. Jeffrey, can you join us, please? <laughs> Members of the Barbados Cricket Association, Select 11, give them a warm welcome for being here today. This is a group of young aspiring cricketers, as you saw in their performances today. And some of them I would manage to teach at secondary school. <laughs> Bless my heart. <laughs> the Comerhan Sports Club team, led by Dear Richards, give them a special hand. <laughs> Today's game, some might say, was, was a bit one sided. <laughs> However, I'm sure that I did not play, so maybe that's why it was a little bit. <laughs> it's a big difference, Ro Roshan, where is him? You had to go? You had to go? Shh. 
It's a big difference when I play. Not dis disrespecting my team, but you know they had a hard game. <laughs> and they were soundly beaten. And sometimes, you know, you have to accept defeat. So give the Cowherd Sports Club team a hand. And for winning the game, the Barbados Cricket Association Select 11, give them a round of a hand. Let me say that this game gives us at the, the Conrad Hunt Sports Club an opportunity to showcase some of the things that we're doing here. If you look around the ground, you realize that there's a bit of a transformation and we're in route to having a new pavilion as was promised by sports ministry and I have a representative here I'm sure that he will make every effort to make this and dream a reality give Dr. Spray a hand we're gonna hold him to it we're gonna make sure that he represent us in this constituency the way we represented him at the poll ah. <laughs> never let him forget that <laughs> right okay now we have two trophies it's a very small trophy <laughs> and a big one um it hurts my heart to present this trophy <laughs> to the Cowherd Sports Club so therefore I'm going to pass that responsibility on to Dr. Donna Hunt Cox. So I'll ask Ms. Cox to come forward and present the trophy to Mr. Dale Richards for the runners up prize. Donna, small trophy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, for the big trophy, we're going to ask the standing captain of the Select 11 to step forward. And we ask Lady Patricia, the widow of Sir Conrad, to present this trophy. Lady Patricia. Mm -hmm. Make sure the lens is uncovered, Andrew. Yeah. You know the last time you took photos, I asked you for them. You said to me, oh shoot, I forgot the lens wasn't open. Is it open? Okay, you have defense here as well. Now, without further ado, um, I don't want to do all the talking here this evening. Um, if you listen on the radio yesterday, we've heard I had an interview with Andy Tornhill in respect to this game and to share some of the philosophy about the, the life of Sir Conrad and the intent of which the foundation has seek, sought to, to portray and to make sure that this legacy lives and that his philosophy is now embedded with some of these young players that we see here. Um, there's not a better person to speak to this than Donna Hancox, Dr. Donna Hancox. I will give her an opportunity to share a couple of words with you. Welcome, Dr. Cox. Thank you, Mr. President. It is a pleasure and a privilege to be here this evening amongst the cricketers here at the Cora Hunt Sports Club. And these two teams that played today represented the two teams that Sir Conrad would have endorsed basically when he took the mantle of president of the BCA. So the, the sports club that he represented, that he's a patron, and the BCA representatives here this evening understand that you represent the legacy of Sir Conrad in some way. The sports club, which is situated here in the village that Sir Conrad was birthed in, and he would have 
practice and hone his skills right here. Maybe not exactly on this field that we're standing on, but certainly in the village. And to the youth, Sakara will be very happy. Um, it's mixed feelings. I know that the sports club lost this evening. Sorry, they didn't lose. They came second. Runners up. <laughs> Runners up this evening. But Sakara had a very soft spot in his heart for youth, and especially for youth development where cricket is concerned. And not only cricket, but sports in general. So Conrad felt that not only should we hone the skills in terms of cricket, athletics, hockey, whatever the sport may be, but he felt that you needed to also I'm looking for the, the word. Um, inculcate the values and the characteristics of persons. He referred to them as ambassadorial skills. So he wanted, make, wanted to make sure that if you become a very good player, you can represent not only yourself, but your community, your country. So if someone puts the microphone in front of you and asks you a question, you'll be able to respond admirably. And sometimes we forget these things. And you have persons that reach the pinnacle. And when they open their mouths, you cringe because we have not brought them along in terms of the personal skills, along with the skills for cricket development and other such sports in Barbados. So we want to make sure that we have the finishing touches for our youth cricketers. And not only cricketers, but sports persons here in Barbados. So not only will we develop the skills of cricket, as you have demonstrated this evening by winning this match, but we want to make sure that we are able to hone your skills so that you are able to represent Barbados, not only in cricket, but as youth leaders. When cricket is finished, you have to go on with your lives. You have to be able to de determine where you want to go, how you want to develop yourself, where you want to take your skills, how you want to further develop your skills and to make a name for yourself and a career for yourself and for your families. So please take time to also develop your personal skills. And that is basically what the Karahan training philosophy is all about. Developing the personal skills and the professional skills in addition to the pedagogy of whichever sport may be. So we're looking at personal development, we're looking at things like conflict resolution, problem solving, goal setting, team building, those kind of things that would make you a better citizen of Barbados. So I don't want to bore you with any more at this time, but certainly you'll be hearing a lot more from the foundation in terms of developing and promoting the legacy that Sir Conrad espoused throughout the life and breadth of not only Barbados, but the world. The last job that Sir Conrad had before he was awarded the knighthood was a coach in South Africa. And Conrad determined that he wanted to make a difference. And just after apartheid ended, I think it was in 1990, he called the then um, Ali Bakker, Dr. Ali Bakker, and said to him, what can I do to help? Because he knew that the blacks needed assistance. We had black persons that were very gifted in cricket, but they never got a chance because they were black. And blacks never got a chance. So he went and he offered his skills. And because he came from the Caribbean, and the Caribbean were made up of 
many different races. We have many races in Guyana, Trinidad, in Barbados, we are predominantly black or white. But in um, Jamaica, we have the Chinese and the other races. So when the West Indies Cricket chose the team, it could have played anyway. So he understood how to work with other races. And he took those principles to South Africa. And he developed those skills with the South African team. And not only did he work with the South African team, but he worked with the South African female team, the women's cricket team, as well as the youth cricket team there in South Africa. And uh, if you look at some of his words that were exposed just before he died, he said that he basically wanted to make sure that the youth and the women's cricket were given opportunities to excel. So stay tuned, you will hear more from us at the foundation and certainly we look forward to your support going forward with the many activities that we will be putting on. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. Would you give her a warmer, um, you know something, whenever this lady speaks, it gives me the same kind of feeling that Sakara gave when he spoke in his time. I believe that there's some kind of chip that was left for her from Sakara. He really taught her well. Her eloquence and her dynamic approach is always welcome. Give her a round of applause. Thank you. Okay, now, I know we have a couple of speeches left. I know you're hungry. I know you're thirsty. The bar is open. There are burgers and hot dogs over there. Where um, my good friend Dave, Dave Cumberbatch is. And the bar is over here. Fish cakes in the, in the club. And karaoke coming. We're going to have a party here tonight. However, um, I just want to acknowledge the presence of some of those persons who will help develop cricket in Barbados. Mr. Peter Vaughan is here. Give Peter Vaughan a hand. He had a great hand in a lot of our cricketers here in Barbados. Earlier I saw Mr. Brooms. Mr. Brooms is still here. Is that Hendy? Hendy Brooms is still here. Hendy? Raise your hand, Hendy. Right, but these guys, give them a round of applause for their, the work that they have done with the young people in terms of cricket in Barbados. All right? Now, I know that the, the new director of cricket at the BCA is here and eager to speak. I'll save Dr. Springer um, for last so that he can outline the promises that he has for St. Andrew. I'll give him the final say. I'll ask Lady Patricia is to play a couple words. I'll ask um, Wendell Coffin, who will be BCA re representative, to say a couple words. Lady Cox, um, Dr. Cox, uh, Lady Patricia, and parliamentary representative for the area. Uh, to the members of the Sir Conrad Hunt Foundation, uh, to the members of the BCS staff who were here, uh, Roddy Esterick, who only a few weeks ago was West Indies head coach, uh, West Indies assistant coach, and, and now he is actually here. Well, he was actually head coach as well. We, we, we know he was head coach, Vaughnie. Um, but he was the assistant coach, um, and to, to be here, uh, just just uh, providing the support for a, a game like this it speaks volumes. Uh, Robin Paris, the other BCA coach that was here. Uh, somebody tells me that the chairman of selectors is here, but I haven't seen him as yet. Um, and to all the young young Barbados hopeful cricketers, thank you for contributing today um, to make this game a possibility. Certainly on behalf of the Barbados Cricket Association, uh, Sakon Word Hunt means a significant um, value to us. Um, and his memory will continue uh, for, for years to come. But let me just say that uh, on behalf of the President uh, and the Board of Directors at the BCA, members of staff, and everyone within the cricketing landscape of Barbados, uh, that Conrad Hunt Sports Club is very valuable to the landscape of Barbados cricket. Um, <laughs>
Yeah, clap for that. Come on, guys. And we want to continue to support Conrad Hunt. Um, we want Conrad Hunt to continue to, to support the local community. On behalf of the Cricket Association and the players that, that came today, we want to wish uh, first Lady Patricia all the best in your travels back north um, and certainly success to the Conrad Hunt Foundation um, and I will do everything from my office certainly to help and to be part of, of whatever activities are going on. So I say thank you um, and all the best. Some of these speeches are important because sometimes we go along and we do not know what is happening. So when words come from the mouths of the powers that be, then we have to make sure that we follow up and, and tag them, right? Mr. Coppin, well said, appreciate your comments. I'm glad that you're here. I'm looking forward to the relationship being established deeper between Conrad Hunt and the Barbados Cricket Association. Um, let me bring attention to one of the stalwarts, um, in St. Andrew. I almost said a son of the soil, but more so a lady of the soil, Miss Anna Shepherd. Miss Anna Shepherd is here. She's a lady of the soil. And we know that phenomenal athlete from years back. Uh, thank you, Anna, for being here. We also wish to draw your attention to the spread and the article that was in the nation today. If you haven't, yesterday, Sunday Sun. If you haven't bought one, go there and get one now. Go to the nation and seek it. It's worth reading. Before further ado, I want to introduce Lady Patricia. I think we've introduced her before. But I, I, I like to introduce her. She's so warm and bubbly. You know, <laughs> Lady Patricia, this is your turn to say a few words to this audience here. I won't be long, um, but I want to thank you so much. I, I, I have a few people that I especially want to thank. Now, I know you have heard a lot about Dr. Donna Hunt Cox. But Donna Hunt Cox is able to do here in Barbados what none of my immediate family and I could do. You understand? Conrad personally turned the responsibilities of development in cricket here in South, in, uh, listen to me, South Africa, here in Barbados, your blood. <laughs> over to Dr. Donna Hunt Cox. And she has taken that mantle in such a fashion that none of us could do. Now, I have three very well-educated daughters. I have two doctors. Roberta is a PhD. Grace is a medical doctor. Veronica is a professional dancer and a business owner herself. But not one of us, not one of us could do what Donna Hunt Cox is doing here in Barbados. And I personally want to thank you, Donna. And I want you to know when I say what I say today, I want you to know it comes from deep within my heart. I firmly believe that. I firmly believe that. And I happen to be here representing my daughter, Roberta Suzette Hunt, Dr. Grace Hunt, and Veronica Lorraine. I've got to go now, but I just wanted you to know why my daughters were not here. And I thank you for the privilege of inviting, being invited. Thank you, Donna. Thank you, Lady Patricia. Okay, I know it's getting late, so I'm not going to hold you up. I'll just turn the microphone over to Dr. Spring. Give Dr. Spring a hand of applause. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you for the opportunity to speak at this event. I just want to, just to 
say that um, it is an immense pleasure for me to be part of an event that celebrates the life and legacy, the work of a man who just represents a smidgen, as we say in Barbados, a smidgen of the talent that resides in this parish of St. Andrew. And if I can just take your mind back to the period in which Conrad Hunt operated, a period when people like me and you had to perform twice as good to be considered even good enough as their counterparts in England, and in South Africa, in Australia, and all those countries. And just imagine how well he had to perform as a person in Barbados coming from a rural community like Shuri Village. How difficult it had to have been for him to prove himself better or good enough to represent Barbados as a person coming from a community like this. So you young persons who have had the opportunity to, to represent Barbados. Those who are aspiring to represent Barbados and the West Indies. I want you to know and recognize on whose shoulders mm -hmm. you stand. Persons like Conrad Hunt must be celebrated. His legacy must never be forgotten in St. Andrew. Must never be forgotten in Barbados. So as I close, I just want to say thanks once again for being part of this event, being part of this celebration. It was timely. It is worthwhile in the sense that it gives someone, young people in this community, the opportunity as something to aspire to. And it says to us and to the family and wife and children of Sir Conrad Hunt that we have not and we will never forget his contribution to Barbados and to cricket. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Dr. Spring. Okay, we're gonna have some karaoke later, so stay tuned. Thank you all for coming. I certainly enjoyed the moment. I'm sure that the cricketers at Conrad Hunt here would have enjoyed the moment as well. I wish to welcome you back sometime in the future. Thank you once again. Thank you to the Conrad Hunt Foundation Committee for organizing this event. We had a wonderful month of activities. Kudos to the hard work of our chairperson, Donna Hunt Cox, as you can see here, Mr. Knight, Mr. Young, myself. We are all part of that committee. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication in order to bring these events to fruition. And once again, thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of the evening.